Rants, Monologues, and Speeches, RMS, Season 3. Okay, and is that... Ah, fuck it. So, here's a mini RMS, uh, based on this, what I was reading for AP Lit, from Everybody is Happy Now by Margaret Atwood, which is an analysis on utopias, and basically it's an analysis on Brave New World and its great-grandfathers of sorts in utopian literature. And I left it thinking about something. Whenever anyone today talks about a utopian kind of thing in a modern colloquial sense, colloquial, fuck it, they say, yeah, if we could just kill a third of the population, that'd be good and all that stuff. Everyone talks about overpopulation and wiping the slate clean of the dumb people and everything like that and then starting over again, which isn't necessarily new, but it's strangely popular now in the common sense of, from people like my brother, just if one-third of the people on the earth... It's interesting. My brother has an interesting perspective. He doesn't say dumb people, which I appreciate, but he says if a third of the people on the earth were to die, doesn't necessarily say kill them or anything, but if they were to die, then the world would be so much better. And if you try to approach him with, well, what if the people that you're killing are the kind of people that are needed to fill that society, or the kind of people you want in that society... He says it doesn't matter. He says it doesn't matter who die, it just has to be a third. Which I totally disagree with. I got, a, I got something. Whenever you want to talk about a universe or a world where it, all of our problems have been solved by wiping the slate clean and starting over again, don't be such a pessimist or a cliche as to say, yeah, you know, step one, kill everyone except for a few people. Don't think about it like that. If you want to think in that theoretical, here's an option. Instead of phrasing it like that, I know this won't make a difference to you kind of people, but instead of phrasing it like that, just phrase it like this. Phrase it this. Yeah, we could solve our overpopulation and everything if we just... No, that's not how I want it. Point being, it's just like, imagine that something happens and... A huge portion of the world's uh, population have been decimated. Not get killed, but have died. Not will die, but just have died. Put yourself in five years after a cataclysmic event. Okay? Like a protagonist of a video game or something. Where it's like, okay, something has happened. Now what do we do given this opportunity to rebuild our world? I know it's a very unrealistic one, but sometimes to get your theoretical ideas stretched and fit right, you know, like Plato fitter on the door handle thing, um, you have to think about an extreme, not an extreme situation, but an unreal situation, a situation that you wouldn't think would be applicable to today's society. When I say, imagine instead of, oh, this... Oh, I just realized that that's like that. Can I, like, stand on something? Ow! Motherfucker. There we go. Uh, innovation. That's... Eh. Ah, fuck it. Uh, eh. Point being, I think that's very important for people who want to test their ideas in terms of the utopia stuff. To imagine that you're doing it in place of um, something has happened and now you have a large portion of the population de uh, dead and now what do you do? Instead of the sense of, well, first let's start by killing a bunch of people or having a bunch of people die. Think, don't think about, oh, what if accidentally a virus got out and killed a gi giant por portion of the population? Oops. And then implement your stuff. Think about it as in, you wake up one day, and that shit has happened. It sounds like the same thing, but there's a difference in the tone. You know? You know, if a bunch of people were to die, then it would be so much easier to rebuild the world and make things better. That's option one. Option two. 
if I ha if I lived in a time right after all the people had died, a huge proportion of the people had died, then I'd ha then I'd have a you know chance to. It may just be a personal thing, but I think that's a much more optimistic way. And if you have optimism on your side, then you're more likely to get people behind what you're doing. You know, I'm not saying you should wait till a bunch of people get murdered and a bunch of thing or not defend against these kind of things. I'm saying that see how to work in this society. If your idea of this perfect universe that can only exist after a certain amount of people have died doesn't work in this theoretical, then it won't work in real life. It's a much safer way of thinking about it. If you, you know, think about it in the way that, oh, you gotta kill off the population first, you're instantly gonna be put into this category of pessimism. But if you write a story that takes place after a horrible event and doesn't go into anything before it and then gets to build this world up from the you know the leftovers of a disease or a nuclear holocaust or something and get to build up with all your ideas intact and then test them to see if they work or just put the book out with everything going perfect and then have people criticize it isn't that much a much more like it's like the difference between doing an experiment on the street corner and doing an experiment in a clean room. You do the clean room experiment first, even if it's supposed to apply to the street corner. Because, you know... Try that, and tell me how it goes. I think that this clean room strategy where if you want to test what your idea of the world would be like, which it can only work with set amount of people dead, try it in both worlds, or just try it in the one I'm suggesting, but, I mean, if you don't want to. And see the response you get from starting the book with everything sucked and then suddenly a bunch of people died and then it was all good versus a bunch of people died and then we did a bunch of this shit and it was all good. It may just be my inflection, but see how there's a negative and then a positive connotation to that book? If you have a book where it the title the book cover is apocalypse happens and a bunch of people died how will we rebuild versus a book of apocalypse happened it's post-apocalyptic and we're building up and it's all good and you have like you know the utopia picture above rubble versus rubble and then utopia under the rubble i don't know if i'm gonna get my message across but i think you know there's i think there's something in here don't do cliches Make your own shit. Or listen to your peers. Bye! Oh, I didn't do the outro. I didn't do the intro. God damn it. Here's an intro. Here's an intro. Hello, everybody! And outro. Goodbye, everybody. Smash Bros. coming out. Smash Bros. How do you like the new format? I might get a better webcam if you like the new format. Tell them.